Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be a reading for any significant Pisces placements. Take what resonates, disregard the rest, don't force anything to fit. And feel free to check out any other video on the channel, they're all timeless, which means they're meant for you to find them when you need them. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you so much if you have already. I really appreciate it. And I love interacting with everyone. It's been great. And if you're interested in readings for all the signs, I do that on my other channel. Advice to think twice. Eight of Wands. Unexpected messages. Unexpected communication. Something unexpectedly picking up speed. We'll see if it comes back out. All right, let's see what's going on for Pisces today. Pisces placements today. Okay. So this is going to be the situation that we're looking at so you can identify it in your own life. And this is going to be what you can expect to see transpire today. For some of you, this has already happen happened. For some, this is happening currently or will be happening within a day or so because not everyone is on the absolute exact timeline so let's see Pisces four cups at the bottom of the deck so I feel like this is something that you tried to get off the ground somehow and it, it just has not been coming together okay to the point where you're like um, you're very discontent about it now you're kind of made your peace with the fact that you know what it's just never gonna happen um, you know, this may be a, a little bit of a pity party, a little bit of feeling sorry for yourself, and that's okay, you're allowed, you know, because whatever it is, you did try to put your your entire heart into it, and it just, it wasn't coming together. Um, but there's something changing with it, with the Four of Cups, so let's see. Current situation, we have the Nine of Coins, happy, single, independent. Um, the challenge is the Seven of Cups, choices, options. I feel like with this, and the four of cups you have options pisces if it's to do with work if it's to do with people if it's to do with relationships if it's to do with where to invest your time and what club to join you know take take the messages as they make sense in your situation but um you had options you have options but that's a challenge because i feel like you have your mind on one thing and for others of you it's like none of the options presented to you are quite what you're looking for. With the Nine of Coins, you've worked on yourself, you've gotten yourself to a point where you're happy, you're content within yourself, okay? You're not looking to, to join forces with anything or anyone from a place of need, but rather from a place of choice. And you're ready for some sort of long-term investment or long-term commitment. And so you're looking at what's available to you and what you want isn't there, okay? Or, what you want isn't coming together and you're forced now to look at other options and it's coming up as a challenge because you don't really wanna be doing that, ideally, you know what I mean? In the foundation we have the sun, yeah, beautiful. This is, this is complete clarity, illumination, truth, you know exactly what you want, confidence. Um, again, I get this feeling of freedom, of independence. And you want what you want, okay? In the recent past, we have justice. You've had to make a decision or a decision has been made in the recent past. Um, either to separate yourself from a commitment that wasn't going anywhere uh, or to separate yourself from pursuing something that appeared to be stagnant or wasn't going anywhere. What's on the mind? Oh, the Ace of Cups. You're ready to make an offer to something or someone or you're ready to accept a serious offer okay and again it can be in love but it can also be to do with work with where you live with friends in your life what you invest your time in that's what's on the mind okay you want a new beginning but you it has to be something that makes you happy all right it's almost like i got the money covered i got the the goals covered i got the responsibility covered i can do that for myself so if i'm going to join forces with someone if i'm going to team up couple up with someone it needs to make me happy number one and then take all the other boxes right but the point is i can take all them other boxes on my own right so i don't need this in my life if it's not going to bring me joy 
what's the point of it because I can do every, anything else it offers I can do for myself you know so what's happening today with that Pisces we have the three of cups we have the ace of coins and the two of cups interesting I'm telling you there's some sort of a reunion there's some sort of a coming back around or a coming back together the three of coins are these three coins that you're looking at on the floor here on the ground like they didn't work out and you're mourning them in a way they're coming back up this time with some additional input that wasn't there before okay if it was one-sided before and that's why it wasn't coming together now it's mutual now someone else is able and willing and happy to invest and join their pentacle with yours to create the ten of pentacles which is that long-term happy healthy happily ever after commitment interesting pisces you have the ace of cups you have the ace of coins a new beginning is taking place with a situation that you gave up on that's i can tell you that that's what this is okay and if this doesn't make any sense to you just um go check out other videos on the channel because your messages could be there okay but that's what i'm seeing something you you had given up on it wasn't an easy decision to give up on this it wasn't an easy decision to accept that you know what it's not happening maybe it's not meant to It's not easy for us to accept that, right? But you got yourself to that point and now you're entertaining other options. So what has happened on, a, on an energetic level, if I can get my words out, um, is that we have released detach detachment. <laughs> Mercury retrograde shadow period going on when I'm recording those people, so please bear with me. I'll get the words out, I promise. I have a Virgo moon, so it always hits my speech. Um, we have released expectation we have loosened our grip on the thing that we wanted okay which has allowed for it to come together the way it was supposed to and the way it was meant to versus the way we really wanted it to right the way we really wanted it to was what was restricting it constricting it um, and basically not allowing it to happen so when we take our hands off it and we go you know what jesus take the wheel if you believe in Jesus or not, but you understand the phrase, right? It's like universe, God, source, whatever you, you do with it, what you will. I release any sort. I, do, I don't care. I don't. I can't anymore. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'll feel sorry for myself a little bit, but then I'll have to look at other options, right? When we do that, energetically, we're freeing this up for it to come together the way that it's meant to, okay? And that's exactly what's happening here. So what else for Pisces when it comes to this situation? Where is it going to go? What's, good, what's, what's happening? Is this a conversation? Because this could be a date. Yeah, look, the Magician, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Wands. You could be dealing with another water sign, and I've been saying this for you for a while. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I also have Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Libra. But the, the bottom line is, this could be someone asking you out on a date. This could be someone asking you out for a conversation. Uh, sitting down at a table having a conversation um, this is someone who is now willing to fight for this willing to pursue this they're very focused and determined okay someone really wants to get your attention you could be this queen of cups male or female doesn't matter I also feel like someone wants to explain themselves If this is going on to do with work or business or anything to do with your finances, your studies, anything like that, this could be interview, they're calling you back in. I feel like this could be something where either you applied, you never heard anything back and you thought, you messaged them a couple of times or you tried to chase a couple of times, you still didn't hear anything. So you said, you know what, that must mean I didn't get it. For others of you, you applied, you, you had an, the interview and then you never heard back. You tried chasing a couple of times, you heard nothing. So you're like, well, I guess I didn't get it then. It would have been the perfect job for me, but I guess I didn't get it. This is where they're calling you back and they're telling you what's happened, right? For some of you, they went with someone else that fell apart because I saw the tower. Okay, they went with someone else that fell apart 
And so now you're like, oh, Pisces, are you still interested? This is what's been going on. They're, they're upfront, they're honest. I mean, fine. Um, but yeah, this is someone who wants to explain themselves. Or if something is, if something was stuck because it was one-sided, now they're, they're going to tell you why. Okay. And where is it going to go for Pisces? I feel like you're going to give this a chance. You're going to keep your wits about you. You have the seven of swords. You do have the six of pentacles. So that tells me, you know, ask and you shall receive. This is also very graceful energy, very um, charitable energy, very uh, gentle, calm, healing energy. And with the emperor here, um, this is where I'm giving you a chance, but I'm keeping my eye on you. You know, this is like the tentative yes. It's like, it's a yes, but let's take it one day at a time and I'm keeping my eye on you. I'm keeping an eye on how this whole thing unfolds because I'm not convinced. Okay. Tell me more on this. Yeah, here's that eight of wands again. Four coins, the high priestess and the eight of wands. This is where you're saying, um, I will match your efforts, but I won't do more, okay? And I'm learning as we go. This is like I'm being reserved and conservative while I'm observing what's going on to decide what I want to do with this and where do I want to take it and how fast I want to go about it, okay? I also get this as they're going to tell you why there's been silence. They're going to tell you why they've been closed off. They're going to tell you uh, some sort of secret, some sort of knowledge that was not common knowledge. It was not public knowledge. Um, so there's no way you could have figured it out for yourself. You just you couldn't understand what was happening, why this appeared to be stuck. Um, they're going to tell you. Okay, I feel like this is someone who... They're showing up as the emperor, okay? So this is someone with a lot of integrity. They want to do the right thing. They're uh, recognizing your worth, your value. They're seeing you as someone they can work with, build with, grow with. Okay, because we have the emperor, the magician, and the sun. Or they're seeing you as the perfect one, the perfect candidate, the perfect partner, the perfect... I don't know what it is, you know, uh, depending on the situation. And that's why now they're wanting to do things the right way. So whatever, whatever you ask them, they'll tell you and they'll tell you the truth. Um, you're a little bit um, cautious and there's nothing wrong with that. You should be. Um, but we have a lot of sevens here. So that talks about truth being spoken, truth being revealed, knowledge coming to you. It's a very spiritual number as well. It's going deep, uh, receiving very um, truthful answers, but someone's like, they're going deep, okay? It's not surface level answers. Oh yeah, sorry, there was a delay, and then they're moving on. It's like, okay, this is what happened. This is what I said, this is what I did, this is how I felt, this is what I've been involved in, okay? Um, because they wanna give you the full picture so you can understand. Okay? And they want you to feel comfortable and confident when you say yes to them. Okay, um, But because it's been so wishy-washy and so back and forth and so on again, off again, and so I feel like I'm getting closer and then I'm, it falls apart, you're looking at it like, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to see you, I'll go on a date with you, I'll agree to spend time with you, I'll come back for another interview. I'll sit down and negotiate terms with you, see what you have to offer. I'll give you that opportunity, um, but I'm, I'm keeping my eye on it before I can decide if I trust this or not, okay? But I feel like with a lot of communication, a lot of communication back and forth, um, you will become more and more confident that this is the right choice for you. This is the right decision to join forces with this person or this company or whatever the situation is. But the, the bottom line here is you have to be honest as well. What does that mean? If you have any concern, don't keep it to yourself, right? And be like, well, I'll try to observe. And no, it's important this person understands your concerns. It's important this person understands um, how you felt because as a result of their action or inaction. It's important that this person understands your boundaries, your terms and conditions, if you will, okay? So that this can have a proper chance. 
because if we start off holding back, that will be the tone of the whole thing, you know? And so that's not gonna be a healthy situation, it's not gonna be a stable foundation, and it will come crashing down, okay? So be honest, because I feel like being quiet about things that you should raise is a way to sabotage this. It could sabotage this, okay? So I'll caution you there. Um, but this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is something that you'd given up on, okay, just to sum up, something you'd given up on because you kept trying to get it off the ground, you tried to get it to come together and it was not happening, you made a difficult decision to free yourself from it because it was just go on and on and on, repetitive thoughts and stress and anxiety and worry and wondering what if, um, and you know, you weren't, who wants to do that, who wants to feel like they're not good enough or who wants to feel like they're not seen or who wants, you know. Um, so you made a difficult decision to walk away from this because you want something that's going to meet you in the middle. You want something that's going to work with you um, and be balanced and be healthy and more importantly, bring you a sense of joy, happiness, uplift you, okay? And whatever the other person or party attached to this was is now contacting you, wanting to meet up, wanting to see you, to talk to you, to explain what happened and to make you an offer, to accept your offer, to make you a counter offer, um, so you can have a new beginning. Have a very open and honest conversation. You've got nothing to lose at this point, okay? But from what I'm looking at here, there's a lot of mutual energies. There's a lot of truthful energies. There's a lot of um, desire to build upon a solid foundation, okay? So Pisces, let me know what this is for you, but it's looking good, it's looking good. So what can I say, expect the unexpected, um, try to go with it, see what happens, entertain something until you get more answers, ask for your answers, okay, raise things, flag things. But um, it's a bit similar to yesterday's message, I think, where you're getting an explanation, an apology, an explanation for a delay. And then it's a case of, do you still want this? Because I think we could be great together or we could do great things together, okay? Which is true, We're looking at these energies. So it's up to you, all right? So Pisces, I will leave it there. I'm looking forward to your thoughts on this. Watch any other video you want on the channel or you feel drawn to. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.